you know who else had 30, 31 in this game is Trey Burke, who yeah. now back-to-back -back games starting to show you what he had last year mm -hmm. as a guy looking more to score than anything else. But what we're seeing is he's getting to his spots, and he gets to them very quickly. We'll show that right here. And he's doing it aggressively. He's pushing the pace up the floor, and I love this play here. Freeze it there. Now, it looks like Cantor is going to set a screen here, and Trey Burke is going to come off this way. But instead, Cantor reverses the screen and catches the defender napping, and then Burke switches. This is a really good job by Cantor. At first, he sets up, but then he switches his angle of the screen, so Burke reads it and crosses over def his defender, and then he's on his way. There you go. Now freeze it right there. Now you got Bamba on Burke one-on-one. -on -one. Mismatch. This is exactly what you want in the NBA. You want to get this every time you run pick and roll. These are two vets that know what they're doing in this play, and this is why they got what they wanted. This is just green light special for Trey Burke. Go at the, <laughs> go at the big, little step back. Like Can't that. contest that. And that's his game. 31 big points today. Trey Burke on fire. A lot of it, though, is credit to Ennis Cantor and his ability to set the pick in the pick and roll and free up his guard. Right, and you see Burke also that sidestep getting right to his yep. spot right there on the elbow, which he loves to take those mid-range shots. Speaking of Cantor, you know, the, the Magic are long. I mean, they've drafted yeah. a couple of yeah. now really Stop long up. athletic right. bigs, including Mo Bamba. But, you know, Ennis Cantor, he's a high-paid player. Mo Bamba's wallet, a little still too light, and it'll show right here. <laughs> yeah, well, and Cantor has some, uh, has some girth, let's put it that way. He's a big, strong guy who really knows what he's doing with his body and he knows all about positioning. Here he sets a good screen for Hardaway, and then he, he posts up low. Look at how he gets low, gets his spot, and here he faces up. I like that he faces up. Now, freeze it right there. Now watch Bamba. He's in good defensive position. He's a shot blocker. But watch Cantor just move him all the way out to here where Cantor immediately gets the better position under the basket. And that gives him the ability to seal off the shot blocker, use the rim to protect from the shot blocker, and get an easy layup. This is just smart. This is how you freeze the ball. Oh. See that shot right to the <laughs> chest? He moves him three feet, gets him out of the way, freezes the shot blocker, gets the position that you need in order to finish under the basket, becomes an and one opportunity and an easy play. It's the hardest thing probably for the young bigs in today's NBA to handle is that physicality yeah. down low. We saw it a lot also in this game with Mitchell Robinson, who struggled as well getting those five fouls. But it only takes a couple of years because those are the guys now bullying the new players coming into the game.